This one goes out to all the ladies. And why is that? Because today I'm doing the annual ladies YouTube survey, which was posted by Miss X Rojas, or Rosiana, back in like June or July. But you know, no one ever tagged me or anything because I have no YouTube friends. You are in control of your own destiny, ladies. I am taking it into my own control and I'm doing a lady survey today. So yes, let's just, um, Hop right in, shall we? Who are your favorite female YouTubers? I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I, one, am a huge watcher of YouTube. I not only make videos, I watch like so much YouTube. I don't even watch TV, I just watch YouTube. And 99.9% .9 of the people that I subscribe to are female. And that's not even a lie. Like it's, I just, I'm not really interested in men who YouTube. I I really don't, besides like John and Hank Green and maybe a Charlie is so cool like video every once in a while, I really don't watch any guys on YouTube. But I have so many females that I love, 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 love to watch. Recently, my favorite has been Miranda Sings 08. If you are not a fan of Miranda Sings 08, you need to like go look her up. Obviously, I'll link her below. But if you have not seen her videos, she is hysterical. I love her. Other big YouTubers that I love, of course, Jenna Marbles. Community channel, I have loved for a long time. The creator of this little survey, this ex Rojas or Rosiana, I always watch and love. All the five awesome girls I still watch. Of course, Daily Grace. Lord of Force is a beauty YouTuber who I love her beauty videos as well as her vlogs. She might be like my favorite YouTuber of all time. Yeah, I, I watch, I watch a lot of girls, okay? I love this girl likes the girl on girl. That's that's where I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> Who are your favorite female athletes? I'm not sporty, I don't really follow sports that much, which is kind of a theme on these videos that I've watched. A lot of girls are like, I don't really know, but that's bad ladies. We should have female athletes that we aspire to be like. The favorite female athletes that I have had have all been figure skaters because I used to figure skate when I was younger. Tara Lipinski was like, Tara Lipinski. I was all about Tara Lipinski in the 1998 Nagano Winter Olympics when she won the gold. I was like, oh my god. It was like, I still remember it to this day. Also, Sasha Cohen. Sasha Cohen and her Cohen spin. If you are into figure skating, you know what that is. She is just a beautiful, beautiful skater and she's one of my favorites as well. What is your favorite book written by a female with a female protagonist? That would have to be the Sloppy First book or the Sloppy First series by Megan McCafferty. I read these in high school and I have just loved them ever since. Just really well written and really a great female lead character that I really identified with in high school and a lot of female lead characters annoy me. It, it happens, like a lot of them annoy me. Jessica did not annoy me. Jessica Darling is the female lead character in this and Megan McCaffrey is awesome. So if you haven't read the Sloppy First series, you should. What is your favorite film written by a female with a female protagonist? All right, for this one, I really had to look up on IMDb which of my favorite films were actually written by females because even some of them that I thought, oh, that's definitely written by a female weren't. Like Heathers, I thought was probably written by a female. It wasn't. So I picked Now and Then, which Now and Then was like, my childhood. I loved Christina Ricci, I loved everything about that movie, and I've come to find out on IMDb that the writer for Now and Then is now the writer for Pretty Little Liars, which I don't watch, but there you go. Who is your favorite female fictional character? Probably Hermione Granger, also Jessica Darling from the Sloppy First series that I just mentioned, but I haven't been her for Halloween and I've been Hermione for Halloween, so. What is the biggest problem facing female creators today and any solutions? I think probably the biggest problem, which I'm sure has been harped upon already, is that females have different kinds of problems when they put themselves out there in the public and in the media and on the internet, and they are judged differently than men are judged. That and they're just not, like not every viewer is like me and watches 99.9% .9 females. I don't know why that men are more frequently watched, especially me because I don't watch them. I love female content creators and I think a lot of us just need to have more exposure. Do you think YouTube and online video in general are better or worse suited than television for tackling the problems and prejudices women face in the workplace. Better, because we don't have as much of a filter. Like, I'm talking to my camera right now, this is going into my computer, I'm editing it, and it's gonna get put out into the world. Female person is talking, a female person is filming, a female person is editing, a female person is uploading straight to the internet. So all my content has not been touched by any men. It hasn't been filtered through any male kind of a filter. It hasn't been censored in any way. The thoughts that come out of my head 
are going straight to you guys, and I think that's a big thing when it comes to getting a real picture of women out in social media and getting a real pe picture of women out to everyone because I find that the females we see on TV are not quite the same as females you would see in, in real life for a lot of reasons, but I think that having this kind of form of expression is something that can get real women out in the open. What do you pledge to do to make the internet a better environment for all creators? You know doctors take that pledge first do no harm. I think the biggest thing that we can all pledge to do is first do no harm. Don't be a troll. Don't ever comment something not good on someone's video. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. That's the rule that I always go by and no one's forcing you to see the content that you're seeing so I don't understand why people ever leave hateful comments to anyone or, or do any kind of hateful thing to anyone on the internet because why are you even there, you know? It's not gonna obviously help everyone, but being nice and just being a decent person hopefully will catch on, you know, to your subscribers and to other people that see how you act on the internet and know the proper decorum for internet and it's not gonna work for everyone obviously, but what else can we do except for try and set an example? Tell us a story, secret, whatever, featuring women. I don't really have one, but I don't know. My two best friends are women, and we've been friends for around 12 or 13 years, so I've seen a lot of things going around the internet recently talking about how some girls are always like, oh, I hate girls that are so full of drama, and I don't deal with drama, and I'd much rather hang out with guys, and blah, 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 but I love my female friends, and not all female relationships are like that. Tag people. I don't know if Miranda Sings 08 has done this, but if she hasn't, I'm gonna tag her. Not that she's gonna do this because I tagged her, because, you know, like I said, I have no internet friends. Other than that, I'm just gonna tag all you guys, whoever's watching, if you are a lady, please, please do this lady survey and leave it as a video response to me and I'll watch them and hopefully I can find even more female YouTubers to put on my subscription list because God knows I don't have enough already. So thank you for watching guys and thank you Rosiana for starting this awesome tag and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.